I've gathered the most insane facts about One Piece that you probably didn't know. Starting off with a bang, did you know that in 2007, Oda revealed when One Piece is gonna end? Well, sorta. Although One Piece is a show about pirates, we never saw a character with an eye patch. Well, it's because the moment a character like that appears, it's signaling the end of the show. It's insane to think that Oda actually planned it 16 years ago. I wonder if he still remembers it. Leave a comment down below if you think Oda still remembers this crazy thing he planned so long ago. Speaking of crazy, did you know that Oda got sick during the Dress Rosa saga and was forced to be hospitalized? Although fans would understand his absence, he didn't give up and instead asked for help from his longtime friend and rival Kishimoto. Yes, the creator of Naruto actually helped create one of One Piece's sagas. But Oda isn't the only one in this video with an insane work ethic. Zoro is known for his work ethic and unparalleled willpower. But only a small percentage of you notice that Zoro is actually the only one from the worst generation that doesn't use a devil fruit. He's also the only one Luffy wanted to recruit before he actually met him. Although with all the head damage Luffy caused Zoro, I think he learned to regret his decision. But the regret doesn't stop there. Oda actually planned to finish the series back in 2002. But as the series got more popular, he couldn't stop making more and more chapters. And if you didn't understand where I'm going with this, let me spell it out for you. Oda knows how the series is going to end. Think about it for a few moments. But don't think about it too long, because you could get hit by one of Lucky Roo's bullets. According to Oda, Lucky Roo ranked the fastest in terms of combat speed, even surpassing Kizaru and Inel, which both arguably can utilize light speeds for their advantage. One of the things Oda loves to do in the show is to use hidden symbolism. For example, if you look closely on Ace's tattoo, you'll see that it's spelled A-S-C-E. This typo isn't accidental. Oda deliberately placed it to show that Ace tattooed the most important people in his life on his arm. A represents himself, S represents Sabo, C represents Crybaby, which is the nickname he gave Luffy when they were young, and E represents Edward Newgate, which is Whitebeard's real name. But that's not all. The letter S is marked with an X, and this isn't a coincidence either. Ace made it that way because he thought Sabo was dead all of these years, and unfortunately, he never found out he's actually alive. But this isn't the only tragic symbolism Oda placed in One Piece. Law's sword is actually named after a Japanese mythological spirit that's bound to wander around and get revenge on the person who killed them. And when you look at Law's tragic past, you begin to understand that his sword name actually holds a very deep meaning, like the fact that he watched his loved one die in front of him, only to be recruited by the Doflamingo pirates and watch it happen again. You thought the hidden signs in there? Oh no, because Oda actually foreshadowed one of the greatest moments of the show, Luffy's Gear 5, back in the Skypea arc. Towards the end of the arc, you see the Straw Hats and Luffy dancing with the Shandorians. And if you look closely, you can see a silhouette of Luffy looking exactly like Nika the Sun God. And if you're still not convinced about this fact, when asked what his top three favorite moments are in One Piece, Oda himself said that this scene is his third favorite. I wonder why he chose this scene out of all the different amazing scenes in One Piece to be his third favorite. But let's pause for a second for a word from today's video sponsor, Tokyo Treat. If you're like me and you love Japanese culture and food, but you can't travel there anytime soon, Tokyo Treat is just for you. Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box. You'll get up to 20 of the latest, most exclusive limited edition and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time, like Sakura Pepsi, Japanese Sake Kit Kats, Ramen, and much more. With Tokyo Treat, you can enjoy original Japanese treats from the comfort of your home. My personal favorite was, like always, their instant noodles. They are so tasty, and every month you get to taste something new. Their sweets are amazing too. So if you're a Japan fan like me, you should head over to Tokyo Treat with the links in the description and use my code ANIMEHERO to get $5 off for your first box, as these boxes are a perfect way to experience Japan for yourself. Check the links below. Don't forget, the best way to support me is to support my sponsor. So you get to have amazing new treats each month and help me produce more of the videos you like. It's double the goodness. Speaking on shocking truths, Oda revealed in an interview that Law and Kid almost never existed. Yes, you heard it correctly. 
Law and Kid were introduced into the series after Oda's editor advised him to create strong characters alongside the Straw Hat Pirates, so the audience will see that Luffy has a lot more room to grow. Eventually, it led to the creation of the worst generation. Although Luffy is the main protagonist of the series, he's far from the character with the most potential. Take Aikainu, for example. Did you know that his Devil Fruit has the most offensive capabilities out of all the Devil Fruits? Well, some of you did. But one thing you most likely didn't know is that if he was the main protagonist of the show, he would find the One Piece in only one year. Another insane fact you probably didn't know is that Big Mom has 85 children, which means she never stopped giving birth from the moment she started until now. Talk about consistency. Another thing that's consistent with the show is that it has a lot of touching moments, like the burning of the Going Merry and the death of some characters. Oda stated that the end of One Piece will be the most touching moment of the entire show. I can't wait to see it happening already. Speaking of touching moments, Shanks sacrificing his arm for the future of Luffy in the beginning of the series was one of my personal favorite moments. But Oda initially didn't intend on him losing his arm, but his editor advised him to put more stakes at the beginning of the show in order to better resonate with his readers. I'm glad he listens to his editor often. Some of the characters of the show didn't have the same designs as they have today. The most notable one is Chopper, who was supposed to be taller and look more like a deer man. Oda changed it later so he would stand out and not get overshadowed by the other Straw Hat Pirates. According to Oda, if he could bring any Devil Fruit to the real world, he would bring Robin's Devil Fruit because it would help him draw manga faster. Also, when asked if he was inside the One Piece world which Devil Fruit he would want, he answered that Buggy's Fruit is his favorite choice because he considers it to be the best one. On another note, did you know that if you take the chapter number of Luffy's first Gear 4th appearance, chapter 783, and reverse it, it'll be the first chapter of Luffy showing his Gear 2nd? Oda likes to throw little plot devices like these all over One Piece. Oda didn't plan to make One Piece that long. The original idea was to make it last around five years. One of the key features of making the series so long is the fact that he created pirates that work with the world government, which wasn't his original intent. That alone added four more years to the series in the form of arcs like Alabasta, Thriller Bark, and the Dressrosa Saga. Also, another fun fact about Oda and the creation of One Piece is that prior to One Piece's creation, Oda worked on a series called Wanted, and they both actually share the same world. For example, the main character's name is Ryuma, and yes, this is the same Ryuma from One Piece who's considered to be the best swordsman in the entire One Piece world. He looks exactly like Zoro, too. Speaking of Ryuma and Zoro, there is a theory out there that Zoro is nothing more than a failed clone of the legendary swordsman and created by Dr. Vegapunk. Zoro was also not intended to be part of the Straw Hat crew at all. According to Oda, Zoro was supposed to be part of the buggy pirate group and be a big brother figure to all the pirates. I wonder what the series would look like if Zoro had been a part of Buggy's crew? Comment your thoughts down below. Speaking on Buggy, Oda stated that him and Blackbeard are his favorite characters in the entire series. On another note, did you know that Zoro actually has a larger chest than Nami or Robin? This guy is a fan of the bench press for sure. Speaking of fans, did you know that Boruto is a One Piece fan? Besides the fact that Naruto made a cameo in a One Piece cover, if you'll go back to Chapter 1 or Episode 1 of Boruto, you'll see that the drawing of Boruto was the One Piece logo. If you enjoyed this One Piece video, please check out my 40 facts you didn't know about the Straw Hat Pirates.